Hey guys, uh, a little quick update of what's been going on with the uh, Ghostbuster Proton Pack. Stay tuned. Self destruct sequence activated. <laughs> guys welcome to the workshop um i'm kind of a little disappointed right now of what has been going on with the uh, ghostbuster proton pack that i'm going to make the game version um i've been ordering some parts i got some parts on the way uh some i just ordered today so that means they'll be coming here pretty soon um also i want to go ahead and show you guys the wand right here now basically this is what the wand looks like now. Uh, this pretty much taped this off right here, so it's it's basically glued in. But one thing I kind of took a look at about this, there is some flaws with this, and I'm very disappointed in that. Like this right here, I sand as much as that off right there, and now it's stuck with a piece of bolt that will not come out. Um, this right here has a big gap, so this is not exactly not gonna fit well as at all what as well. Um, also, the handle right here. Every time this makes the fourth time that I actually glue this back into place, but I'm not going to get rid of it. But I pretty much want to see how much it weighs, and when I put this on the scale, it kind of weighed about. 25 pounds now that's with everything on it that's not including with uh this part right here and also this part which basically this part right here i'm actually using it for the parts on pack right now and uh because i'm not going to use this i kind of change it up right there and i kind of painted it so that's all pretty much done right there so um, this I will not be using. This is this right here will be good for parts. Um, also, this handle here, I don't know why is what's the deal, but this handle is too short. It needs to be like right out to here because when I attach the hose, where am I going to attach the hose to? So I decide. To cut my losses and not use this at all. But I'm not going to toss it in the garbage. I will, however, keep it. Uh, I did manage to put this all together. And that's basically it right there. So this I would not be using. Now, basically, you guys, I just happened to show you guys this. I did manage to paint this right here. This is for the Proto Wand. Proton wand. I can't really talk right now, but it's gonna go be going on to this right here Which I'll show you guys that in a minute um, I've been working on that for a little bit um, I managed to find some bolts to bolt this in and basically uh, This is what the pack is looking like right now now Move the camera down a little bit now, basically, I managed to drill a whole center here. That was a success. Uh, this is basically pretty much mounted. Pretty much, it's not moving at all. This is basically uh, not fitted on here. I can easily take that off and put it right back in. It's because I'm getting a fog machine for this. So that way, when it vents out, it'll vent out to here. And now I got the part right here coming, the booster or whatever it's called. Um, I got a couple of uh, other things coming. I got the ribbon cable that's going to be going right here. The, uh, the little mount for the cable. I got that coming. Um, the lenses, however, I'm waiting for a little bit longer for the lenses because... I found the lenses, but they are, 
I can't really do nothing with the lenses right now anyway because of this is not exactly complete. Now, I got to print out the tank that's going to go right here. I got to print out the little, um, if I can get this down right here. Now, this part, however, is going to be a little tricky because in the game, you have like the little, the two lines right here and the two circles for like your character's health. And also you have the little, uh, lines that goes right down to for there. And also you even have this right here. Now this, however, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to sand this in the game. I really do not know because. I mean, it's a very small detail work right there to, where, to get to this right here. But I need to get over that machine for me to, the circuit board, to get to do this. So that's going to be later on in the future video. I'm not going to go ahead and do that right now. But also, I got to get some clear tubing and get some slime. I know what kind of slime I want to use. I've been wanting to use this for a long time. For the other proton pack but i want to go ahead and use it for this one because this one's an actual size um i want to go ahead and get some slime to make the tube to be in slime and then i also have to make another tube to the wand and to the pack itself that way it can also have the slime going right there which i got two picked out but i might end up getting four i don't know but I think that's what I'm going to do. I want to get some slime. And I want the slime to glow too. So I might just get some green LED strip lights. And connect it. And have that be centered onto the pack. So that would be cool to have. But also I want to show you guys another thing. I happen to receive in the mail. That everybody's been getting. I happen to receive the ultimate collection of Ghostbusters in Ultra 4K. Now, this is not going to be an unboxing video. I've seen a lot of people online, they actually order this. And they end up getting, it's always, it becomes damaged. Or they end up getting like doubles copies of some other stuff. I have watched this in 4K. I need to watch this on Blu-ray. I do happen to got... Ghostbusters up there, but I want to get this in 4k So I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to show I'm gonna show this to you guys and it's about so here we go Okay, guys, I kind of got this right here cleaned up a little bit But let me show you guys this right here. The detail work on this box is excellent so when I bit when I'm in the future when I do the Ghost Trap RC from Afterlife I can actually get some of these details. Now I do remember this right these right here was silver, not red, but in afterlife they're red, not silver. So that's be excellent and it does have the handle. So if you kind of take a look, there's actually this right here. It lifts up, which is great. And then the inside, you got the movies. Now basically you have exactly Ghostbusters 1 and then you have Ghostbusters 2 and then you see the lights lit up. That's pretty cool. And then you have a Ghostbusters Afterlife. And then you have 20 hours of bonus features which is great. And then you also have making of Ghostbusters the book which basically I really like it does have a lot of detail work about everything of like all the ghosts Slimers the Ecto-1 right here that would be great and a lot of details on this right here I really can't wait to Bust open this book and see what this what this is. Now, basically, this is what I'm also interested in because this has bonus features of everything, like from Ecto One, um, 
the proton packs, the ghost traps, everything. That's what I want to. That's why I want to. Now, that's really what I want to watch. But I'm kind of mumbling my words right now. Because I'm very excited about this. Now, basically, if I actually had that, it would normally. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. They did stay on the screen LED lights. It does have the go no ghost logo on it. But this right here will help me with building this proton pack right here. Now it does have the wand right here, the pack right here, no ghosts, ghostbusters, all that. Now I've been getting a lot of questions. Yes, it does came it did came with the the digital copies of them, it does have answer the call, but I kind of tossed that aside because I really did not want that. So, now basically, these are basically these are in 4K. I did have a say, very beautiful artwork, and you got them right there. And here's Afterlife. And Ghostbuster 2. So that's pretty cool. Now, basically, the bonus footage is actually going to help me a lot, like I've been saying, uh, because I need to know about, like, what details are on the Proton Pack. I mean, I really like to do the Afterlife one, but after I want to do the Ghostbuster from the game proton pack because that has more gadgets it has more it turns to blue red green and then yellow that's what i want to do i really want to have a ghostbuster proton pack that can actually have it for a proton pack or i can have it for the game version which basically that's what i really like so that's what i want to do guys um i pretty much got this right here pretty much to help me with this build um hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already also hit that like button also hit that notification button every time i upload the video you guys will also be notified now basically as for the rms titanic i gotta put that on hold again because i have been i've been wanting to do this then I want to do that, and then I want to do something else, and then I haven't been having enough time. So, uh, another video will be out for that in a little while. Um, I'm just waiting for some other stuff for it to come. Hopefully, I can get basically 100% of that pretty much together. And I'm still waiting for the little, the, the whole uh, skeletal structure to come, but... They haven't come yet, so, um, so yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for this to come, for the haul, because it's still a little bit warpy and a little bit, um, I'm not really into boats, but I really like the Titan because I, I'm an expired for that for years, but I'm going to include this video right now, you guys, hope you guys enjoy it, and, uh, also catch you guys next time, guys, and also stay safe out there, it is getting real bad out there where I am living at now, because it's, you know, it's that time of the year, so, stay safe out there, you guys, and stay cool.